Hey guys, I'm in the hotel. Uh, and here, so I have the camera there. I'm in the hotel of South Carolina, and I told you guys that I would be doing a video while well, I think it is. A video of me in South Carolina, and I'm basically doing a studio. It's just going to be about, um, I forgot to show you guys around my bathroom in the hotel. And this is the bathroom. So, um, Here I just have a bunch of like towels and stuff. You told me. And then over here is the shower and then just the door. So it's an okay bathroom. Um I don't know if it's the best, but it'll do, you know what I mean? So today's video is just gonna be about um, I don't know, basically gonna be about makeup tomorrow, I guess. And we'll do that today. Oh yeah, and check out my shoes. Need some rabbit or something, so I think it's really cute. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. So So first we're gonna be using my makeup bag. And my mom's makeup bag. I use hers sometimes just because hers has a little bit more stuff in mine. Um, and sometimes she has things that I use. So yeah, we're gonna start off with this. This is the color beige, and this is the LA Colors non-powdery foundation. And I use this first because I don't know, it works really good. But it's just really clear, and I got this at Dollar Tree. Um, but it works super good, and it's kind of in a way like concealer. So makes your face look super pale, but. You guys will, I think you guys will see kind of the transformation of what happens when I put this on. It really works really, really good. As you can see, I'm starting to look very pale. Um, but this is how, this is how it works. So, you know, just kind of put that everywhere. Once you feel you want to wear it, make sure you put some down to your, um, To your um, chin still. Alright, so now you're just going to take this little thing and split that. So, and this is LA Colors, I think. I don't know. I'm just going to mix it in a little bit because it is. Oh, sorry. I'm mix it in a little bit, just a little bit, so it won't look too crumpled up at the top. So yeah. Alright. Now you're gonna want to take your foundation and today I'm just gonna be using my foundation that I always use. And this is on Don Michelle. It's a light to this makeup foundation. I always use this. I've been using it for quite a while now, so you guys can probably tell that I really, really like this. And it works so good for me. I'm just gonna forget that much on my face. I think it's a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I do. And then I just use this powdery. It's made for like um, powdery stuff, but I just use it for um, my foundation. As you can see, it looks really crumpled and hard and stuff. That's how I like it. So I'm just gonna mix that in, and I actually smile sometimes when I put on my makeup. Mix that in everywhere. And this is just going to bring your color out a little bit more so it won't look too thick. And you could use it with your fake color on. I prefer not, but a lot of people do that. And it looks really cute when they do because your face looks really clean and stuff and clear. But I like when my face is a little bit more natural. When it doesn't look too fake in a way. Yeah, I know. Um, I am going to be using quite a bit of makeup today because this makeover is not just a regular. This is like a makeover that I do whenever I wake up from my hotel because I've been here since Saturday. Well, I left Saturday morning um, to come to the hotel and stuff. But 
which works so good and um, I don't know, it really shows a good impression on me. So I'm just going to be mixing that in and then we're going to make sure that it really, really blends in with my natural skin tone as we let your hands apply. As you can see my face looks a little bit more clear now and not too fake. So yeah, I'm sorry about my hair right now, it's like really messed up. I will be doing a part 2, part 3, and part 4 of this video because I do not want to make this video too long, so I'm going to try to stop it at around 8 minutes, so, and I'm just going to try to get to like my eyeshadow by that point. Alright, now we're just going to take a little bit of bronzer, and today I'm just going to be using natural bronzer. Sorry about the reflection, you can barely see it, but oh well. And I'm just going to be taking the same thing that I used to kind of mix around the powdery foundation for the first. And I'm just going to be dabbing it on there like this. And then just mix that in. And this gives, if you're a really pale person, this will really help to give your skin a little bit more color than it either already has or already has. So this is just going to give it a little bit more color to your face. And now we're going to go straight to, um, soon we're not going to be using any eyeshadow just because my eyes do not, well, they might, I guess we will. And for eyeshadow day, I'm going to be using my, if I can find that. So I want to tell you guys today, okay, this is something that I just got a few days ago blue and it is awesome. This is great for eyelashes. Gotta be really careful though because it will seriously hurt your eye honestly really hard. If you um you know lost this or like scratch your eye sorry I dropped my pencil. So I think I'll just be using this is Maybelline New York Eye Studio and it has really pretty colors and we're gonna be using where is it no it's not that color. This color right here and it has a little bit of a watery, glittery type of thing. So I really like that. And I'm just going to be using that with this. And like the video is about to end because it's already 7.30. Like, a minute. So I'm going to try to end it. I'm not that big of a rush, but I'm going to just put that in the whole eye, basically. And alright, so I'm gonna be doing part two in just a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start up with where I ended. Sorry, um, keep watch for part two. Sorry, I'm trying to wait till it's like eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bye.